Yo, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Randy Rosario, and welcome to the Randy Rosario Show, where we talk about cultural topics. We're going to, you know, make that shift. I'm kicking it with my boy, Tattoo Man Page, my homegirl, Persuasion, and my homegirl, Pretty Bray. Hey, y'all. What up, though? Hey. Episode one, season one. Welcome. Oh, uh, we hey. in here. What up, though? Okay. Yeah. So before we get into it, let's do an introduction as to who you guys are, what y'all doing, what not. Bray, let's start with you. Okay, period. A whole lot of cute shit. Um, so my name is Pretty Bray. I'm from here in Detroit, east side, of course. I rap, <laughs> you know, all that. Yes. So definitely you can look me up, find me everywhere on all outlets. I'm lit, so period. And that's that. And I'm Tattoo Man Page. I do impersonations. I act, I sing a little bit, uh, I do comedy, uh, I do tattoos, uh, porn star on the side. I used to be. What else? That's about it. What you do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, here we go. Hey, you guys, I'm Persuasion. I'm a TV personality. Um, I guess extra-per, I guess. Okay. Um, TV personality, influencer. You can find me on Instagram, YouTube. You know, all of the, the best that came up from the from the dance community. For okay? real, you know. I love that for, I love that for, for the girl. You're an adult entertainer. Oh, there you go. You know, I, you I see myself as a person that sells sex, My sister. but not giving sex. <laughs> Anywho, speaking of sex, that's actually going to be the conversation today. Our whole topic in conversation is going to be about sex because why not? We all love sex, right? Oh, okay. Period. You put that little ugly ass bottle oh, down here. Here we go. Okay. All right. Go ahead and drink your head. He's okay. been drinking. He's been drinking. You know how that go. So up first, up first, up first. Like, in the days of... Down, pick your lick up. In the day, yeah, exactly. In the days of social media, do you guys feel like uh, all around like sex is just too casual nowadays? Like, is, is sex happening too frequently amongst people that just don't know each other? It's Ray, so you crazy that you say that. Because I had this conversation the other day about my world, is about dancing. Mm -hmm. And in my world, when I first started coming up, strippers selling sex but not actually giving sex was such a big deal because we sold a fantasy and we made people want to come and see us because we exuded that sex appeal. Mm -hmm. And so it's like now, these girls is just giving it out like it's water. <laughs> like the water well, boys on the corner of the street. Giving yeah. out like it's what? What you was you gonna say? You, I said like you, said you had a facial respect, you had a reaction. What was your reaction about? I feel like I'm just a walking sex symbol. Like, you know my Instagram, yeah. you follow me. Yeah. Girl, I get Liddy on there. But I feel like, I think, like you said, people like the fantasy, but Niggas know they can't touch this. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I don't really care about even the girls that get a pussy out. That's just up to you. Like, yeah. girl, that's your cat. Like, yeah. you do what you want to with it. Hopefully, it's making you some money because otherwise, you're just a non profit. But Ooh. I just feel like that's up to them. She, she called him a non profit. I mean, Taxation without representation. Okay. I'm just well, saying, I'm a, but. Well, I'm a corporation over here. I found me to somebody that's going to pay for it for life. Man. Okay. <laughs> but no, yeah, period. No, but like, um, I don't really, I like being a sex symbol though. I, I think, so I think you having, you exuding sexy, you can't help that. It's like, I mean, your whole, everything is sexy as hell. Oh, but do you yeah. think that, just because, but like you said though, just because you look sexy and just because you sell like a sex appeal don't mean they gonna get it. I don't know, but they know that. Because you, got a, certain, you got a certain level of standard. Yeah, but people know that. When they write me, they be like, Niggas just come crazy talking about how much does it take? Like, it's like, boy, you know damn well, this right. is not that. Like, What's the craziest thing a dude that says sexually to you in your in your DM? You first. <laughs> I just got a DM recently. This man sent me, um, I guess this sex bitch that he is tied up under, but his face is in a hole. And he said, come to what it. What the fuck is he happening? Said, it's called a queen and bench. Okay. I, just, I found out about it. It was very intriguing to me because I'm like, I might want to use this with me and my girlfriend. Okay. This is interesting. Okay. But he was like, I want you to wear a leather skirt and shit in my mouth and piss on me while I'm chained to this box. And I was like, what? you don't even know me, sir. Like, how do you even know that this is? He was like, I want you to be my dom and I'll be your sub. And I'm like, Damn. Doodle? Doodle is that's a nasty, that's a, that's a nasty dude by So I got shit. a question for you. How long y'all been dating so far? 
Who me and my girl? You know what a nasty nigga. I'm not the nigga you just talking about. I ain't never been dating. I ain't never met this man in there in my life. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. Ugh. That's a wild shit. If, a girl, if you were asleep with a girl and she was like, all right, all right, Tad, all right, we done. All I want right. you to piss on me. I want you to. I want I you to piss no. on the chick before. Oh, he, he's a nasty dude. I I'll can. Piss, I can. Yeah, listen. Aren't you like a Libra or a Scorpio? Yeah, a Libra. She asked me. Yeah, yeah you're disgusting. Uh, I'm a Libra. We we have, y'all get nasty in the bedroom, from what I hear. Freaky, not nasty. He might be on some different shit. But I'm. You like, I'm not letting nobody pee on me. I'm freaky, but no. What? Y'all pee on us? Don't nobody pee on y'all. Who pee on Oh, you're not a squirter then. No. Squirt is not pee. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, the like, what are you talking okay, about? So here's the question. So here's the that question. means you never had nobody squirt on you. You sound crazy. You never had nobody squirt on you. Here's the million dollar question. Here's the million dollar question. Million dollar question. question. Here, million dollar question. Oh, one at a time. I'm going to fuck y'all up right now. One at a time. One at a time. Yes or no? Is squirt pee or is it some other magical liquid that came out of nowhere? I think it's equivalent. Pee, I, think it I don't out. think it's equivalent because when yes. I do it, I don't smell pee. Yeah. Well, you're not gonna you get, smell pee. You don't smell pee when you're you drink having water. Because you drink water. <laughs> no, no dead ass. He's right. You drink you water. Drink water. Okay, no, so you don't even know that so I you drink water. So, I'm you drinking so you don't think so you, you don't squirt think and that shit smell like pee, I know you don't drink when no I water. Squirt, exactly. it don't smell like See, fucking pee. She That's she why, don't... because you drink your water. Okay, and you so, mind yeah, your so it's, it's squirt, it's squirt pee. If yes, I'm not... ki- I make females squirt all the time. I mean, I Googled it and they did say it it's was piss. pee. It said it's, 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 it's when I Google it, it said it's a mixture of something and pee. It's a mixture of yes. It's a mixture of yes. It's like sixty five percent piss. So I saw a recent so I saw a recent study as well. And a woman said that what they did to test whether or not squirt is pee is they put dye inside of, inside of a bladder uh-huh. and they had the person empty the bladder uh-huh. and then they had the person have sex uh-huh. and if the if the the stuff that shoot out was not pee then it should not have had any dye in it right but it had dye in of it. course it did because it has a squirt does have because a you so extra relaxed no, no, I'm, like no, god damn I'm just, calm I'm down it's I'm okay right. you pee on a few niggas it's all no, right no it's not it's yes. like, I don't feed on the few people. Okay. Just, no. That's what I'm talking about. Like Honesty. That's nasty. That's nasty. nasty. I'm a, I'm a, hey, squirt is piss. If okay. you make me like squirt, it. you to go. Squirt he wanted to be pee. He wanted to be pee. He wanted to be pee. He liked it. He liked it. He liked it. He on me. No, no. First of all, I don't. First of all, I don't. He ready for it to be pee. He ready for it to be pee. Don't shower me, please. He wanted to be pee. No, I don't like that shit. I love it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you too freaky for me. All right. What type of labor is you? What month? What month? October? What? Oh, no. You can't be. <laughs> she is offended. <laughs> I'm upset. It's she is you offended. Back. Return to send me. It's the male Libras. It's the male Libras. We different. No. No. Okay. So oh, you question. Too? Question. Yeah, she just said See, she was she got a little bit. She got Scorpio mixed in her, too. I can no, tell. No, I don't. I'm yeah, you early do. October. What no. are you? I'm a middle. Oh, that's why. 11. So he, <laughs> see, he got Scorpio mixed in. He get nasty. This is 11. The 11th. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the 9th. All right. So y'all like birthday twins almost. No, we're not. Happy birthday. <laughs> yes, we mad. is. No, yes. we're not. Okay, look. She don't want to be affiliated with you. She's mad. She's like, you know what? She ain't scored to be false. Persuasion. Yeah. Recent, we were just talking about you being in your, your current relationship mm-hmm. and you're dating a woman. Is this your first relationship seriously dating a woman? Not my first um, relationship with a woman. It's my first public relationship with a woman. Okay. And what's like, so what's some of the differences? Because obviously, <clears> like, you have like a, we got kids the same age, little little babies. Right. What are some of the, uh, without being too in your business, what's some oh, of the differences? Business, girl, okay, cool, mind. girl. So <laughs> what, what's the difference between like getting strapped and like having regular sex with a man? Because I ain't never got strapped before. There is, to me, now that I am in tune to it, there is no difference. Okay. Like, her stroke game is amazing. That's fucked up. Like, it's a <laughs> But I ain't gonna lie, I was, I'm bisexual. I know, I was gonna get to you next. I was gonna fuck? get to you next. You she, talk about she's it. She's speaking facts. Because in, yo, in no. one of your songs, you talked about uh, a yeah. nigga hitting it from the back and a bitch eating you while he was hitting oh, it from yeah. the back. So I was just like, whoa, okay. No, but it. when I was dating a stud, I wasn't bisexual. Y'all go okay. download her shit now. Yeah, it's pretty brave. Check her out. Yeah. She's lit as hell. That shit is amazing, though. No, but, um, that's the only, like, relationship I kept going to jail about. Okay. The but stud? I won't say... The strap better than my, my yeah now, but I feel like at that time it was like that shit was like it was just new. the way she used it was better than anything I experienced. Wow. I feel like she was in them spots. Wow, I think studs know what to do with this strap. So a woman maybe can please. Y'all just ain't got no. I just I just ain't got no. You can't real, say that. Mm-hmm. I'm 32 years so, old. Okay, I got a, it, I've so experienced yes or no to Bray and, no. and Pete. Fuck yes that. or no. 
a a woman can satisfy a woman better than a man can satisfy a woman. No. I don't think that is. No? Yeah, I think you. that a woman can. Get the fuck out. I don't think better because I feel like now I'm, I'm only into threesomes because like, I can fuck a bitch all day. Uh-huh. I have. But uh-huh. it's like, Tell it's me missing something. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't use strap no more. <laughs> like, I don't use strap no more because that came with a whole lot of, like, you got to wash the strap. Like, for Oh, real, yeah. Also, oh, so you got, yeah. Oh, you got to boil it because no. if, you, that, if you, you use a new You got to wash your real dick, too. Right. If you, you use a new strap, niggas don't do that. The new strap, <laughs> boil it, please. Boil it to boil get all, y'all out here boiling all that bacteria dicks. off. No, but, uh. That could give you BB just yeah, like a nigga. Penis like, I kept getting BB. BB back in the day, and I didn't know why. It was because of the strap. I'm just like, bitch, you only using it on me, so... Because I know you only using it on me, because that bitch locked up in my safe. Right. Damn. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the dick is no, locked, said, this is locked new, up. This is new information. This is no, new information. Like, no, but it's just, like, so unsanitary in a sense. Mm-hmm. It's like, I... I wouldn't recommend it. And a lot her. of women that, that do it, they're really not up on the sexual health on that part. Okay. Like, they just feel like they can just fuck willy-nilly because it's not real. No sense. You still gotta take care of that. You still gotta take care of that dick. You gotta cherish that dick. You gotta clean it and you gotta mm, on it. That's the guy. Okay, that gotta a, be the worst shit in the I, world. I have a question, but I, and tell me, if it's too, <laughs> tell me if it's too invasive. I feel like I know you just, I feel like you started it. I think she about to ask the question yeah. that I don't want to ask. I want to ask you. Don't ask so, me. So, when you guys are having sex with the strap, do you have to suck the strap? Like, I would suck a real dick? <laughs> I know what she was gonna ask. <laughs> You don't? She don't like that. Okay. Some girls do like that, though. Okay. They like that. I've dealt with a girl in my past. So do you give her head, 20. though? She want to give head on the strap. She want me to suck the strap. She want to look at me, suck the dick. Okay. I thought that was a little weird. Okay. But We'll say different. Different. It was weird. Different. It was weird. Okay. Okay. No. It was weird. Okay. Because I'm like, girl, this is not yours. What you getting out of this? Okay. Because I'm confused. You don't want no dick, but you want me to suck the dick. I'm a little confused. Play with it a little bit while she sucks the dick. But y'all female, y'all females say that all the time. Y'all say y'all get wet from sucking dick, so it's probably for her. I get wet from eating pussy, so you don't even have to do that. So she probably but I can come off of eating pussy. She probably get wet from sucking that plastic. I'm oh. sucking that rubber. Okay. I'm not mad at that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at that. No, seriously. So, you know? when you're, so just to include you more in the conversation in regards to getting your business, yeah, do you deal with sex toys at all? Yeah. Do you play with sex toys? Like, what type of, what's your favorite toy to play with? Yeah. Uh, this is really kind of awkward because this is like one of my really, really good guy friends. So I really don't give a fuck what his favorite sex toy to play with <laughs> is, but we're just going to be inclusive in the conversation. Um, shit. Well, it's not really toys. Like, like I do dice and shit like that. You know. Oh, okay. So oh, I you like that? Like kiss, kiss, yeah, neck, like, kiss, kiss neck. neck. Yeah. 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 Bend yeah. over. Let's yeah. do mission. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You like games? Yeah. yeah. Look, asshole. You like games? Yeah. Oh. I like to play sex. Look, <laughs> <laughs> <Like> asshole. <laughs> you like yeah. your ass ate? No, I don't like my ass ate. I eat ass. Is uh, there something uh, yes. wrong with a man yes. liking his ass ate? I don't. I don't like do getting my ass ate. I I don't. I don't toss salads. Um, you know. That's not mine. That's not I my group. You know? Thankfully, I married someone that doesn't want his salad toss. Thank God. Would you toss a nigga salad? Um, you toss a salad. Yes, yeah, she will, because she said, what um. I would, would, would she I? said, um. I probably would. I'm nasty. You would eat an ass. I'm, I'm, I'm nasty. A, I'm going to be honest I'm with you. I'm nasty. I'm a Pisces. Yeah. We quiet. You're the only reserved one on this show right and now. And what's funny is that she's you got a lot of class. She, she got a, class. What's funny but is that she's, music like, is free. she's the classiest one on the set, but well, she's the freakiest one in music. Yeah. Is that a bitch? Eating ass is just like <laughs> she is disgusting. But I mean, it's no, right there. You ain't never had your ass. I ain't gonna lie though. It's right there though. Eating you... a girl ass, I look at it different from eating a nigga ass. Yeah, because oh, a nigga ass, you got a grown ass. You got a grown hairy yeah. ass. Like <laughs> nobody wants to eat that. The grown, you know what? Hairy You're right. Ass. You're right. That's nasty. I, my my relationship that I'm in now, I'm I don't hold nothing back. I'm all so for. So you just proud. I proud on to everything, proud girl. Eater. Right here, it's my it's my virtue. But it's a woman. It's kind of different. You and come I think that's you what you mean. Grown man ass. And I and now that you say that, I'm like, damn, you right. <laughs> like this a grown man bent over, right. getting his ass ate. Mm-hmm. You do you, you, you like dick at this point? Immediately, yeah. I picture I hear you, Drake, twenty one. Can you? No, <laughs> I won't say. Oh, that. Drake gonna be. Good. <laughs> He gonna comment on this episode. I like Drake. Right? <laughs> Look, I good. Like, he like, I real. like Drake, but that I'm Why? sorry, those animated character things with but them. I don't, I don't look at him like zesty. I don't. I don't see him as zesty. Oh yeah, no, he's zesty daddy to me. I don't we, won't we won't get into that conversation. Good that. Okay, no, but I did. I like the conversation in regards okay. to uh, oh, no, okay. to you, you having a, a serious relationship with your your new relationship being with a, a woman that's being your first public serious relationship with that. 
my question to you that I wanted to ask without getting too deep and too serious for someone that is looking to come out or someone that is looking to be more explorative in, a, in the bedroom, what's some advice that you could give them? Be comfortable with yourself. I didn't get comfortable with myself into sex into this relationship. That's what Like, she makes me so comfortable. Like, I'm not weird to, like, do these sexual experiences. Is she older like, than you? No. I'm oh, the wow. oldest one. She's okay. younger than me. And okay. I think, I thought I was going to scare her away from being so open and so sexual because she's not as sexual as me. Mm. But she's open. And I'm like, ooh, you open? Ooh, the mystery. Ooh, let's do this. Let's do this position I seen on Pornhub. Period. Because <laughs> oh. I be watching shit and I mean, I need to learn too because being in a relationship with a woman is just like eating pussy and bumping coochie. Right. It's, it's more to that. And I think having sex with her it makes me more intimate and more loving and like more, more, ooh, just nasty. Ooh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> nasty. Brian, what's the advice that you would give somebody? Because you're, you're, sec- you're a sexually liberated woman, but I, I think it's dope to, to actually sit and kick it with you because you're you're really kind of conservative a little bit. But it, when Not it, for real. A little bit. With yeah. y'all. A little, it's like, a little pretty. Yeah, I like Dang. it pretty. But no, 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 I'm, I like that though. Fuck. But what are some advice that you would give someone? Like, let's say if it's a, a, young, a young adult girl that's, you know, Maybe your age are a little bit younger, and they're like, you know, I like, I want to try new stuff, but I'm kind of scared. What's what's some advice you can give them to actually try it? <laughs> Grow the fuck up. Oh, <laughs> that's my advice. Like, no, for real. I hate like, I'm I don't know why it kind of like turns me on to turn the girl out. Like I usually have sex with straight girls. Okay. Because you're not girlfriend. straight. I hate when a girl be like, I'm straight, and it's like I've never met a straight girl. Oh, oh yeah. So that's it's kind of like girls say they straight, but you're really not straight. That's oh, so you be having sex with proof point. And that's what bothered me. But I got turned out, so it's kind of like shit. It's like the way I got. It's that's like, trauma. You know, that's so trauma. You, that's trauma. Oh God. No, don't that's you start. trauma. Don't you start. Okay, don't but, you start. Hey. but that's, don't that's, you that's trauma. trauma. Though. That's trauma. Because okay, if <laughs> you can't be straight if you're willing to kiss me, that's real. <laughs> Like, there's no way. Girls, they be kissing on each other because they drunk. Yeah. No, baby, that's been in you. Yeah. You've been wanting to yeah. come but out I've like I've never that. met a, a true straight girl. Like, I've never met, like, a true straight girl. So I don't. Okay. But the advice, I don't know. I just be feeling like bitches got to grow up. Like, you fucking girl, grow up. That's real. Like, good. it's just coochie it's at this point. Yeah. It's like, what? what's the difference? Yeah, because you got one. I would be more scared of dick. Like, that shit got to go in you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and you I'll don't know what it's scared. Scared. I'd be scared, more scared of vagina. Vagina hold more bacteria than it's a penis. Atlanta, though, actually, no. yeah, you actually, go in there and it's like, oh, hold no, up. vagina, y'all get raise my hand like that's a, a wet secretion. Okay, Pete, Pete, that's all on me. Like it's on you. It's on you. Y'all hold no, way more doesn't. bacteria. No, it doesn't. Pete, Pete got the floor. Who y'all don't wash out dick? Y'all don't go get checked. I wash Who my balls. Wash they did. I wash my balls. Men. <laughs> no. Men in general. I don't play like that. <laughs> men in general. If you meet no dick, that's what you meet. If you meet a man that is. That say, oh, I don't get checked. That's real. Like men do you not men go that get checked that? because, oh no, I'm gonna go get. I'm checked. saying you meet men that says that. I that meet I don't a get lot checked? of men that say yeah. I don't get checked. Like yeah, if I don't crazy. see nothing or if I don't feel nothing, they're like they're okay, mm. and they'll have sex with whoever. But in actuality, you have to go get checked because yeah. STDs are it's no symptoms sometimes. Yeah. Your body is different, and people don't realize that that. Sex health is so important. Yeah, for sure. Like, you can't come to me with no dirty dick. Period. I need papers. Period. You can't come to me with no dirty pussy. In fact, no, I, I, don't, even, I don't even want papers. Pull up that my chart. I want to see it right now. Pull it up. Let me oh, Let's go get checked Log together. In. Let's, let, me, let me see Can we go get checked together? Let's go have to a doctor's appointment. Uh, let's go straight That's to them results. Stop Sometimes. playing with me. So, yeah, y'all are all, like, for real being open and honest, and I love that. I, I super like love that. Yep. Um, I guess... We talk, we, you talked about being in the, the field of sex work before. Can we talk mm-hmm. about that a little bit more? Mm-hmm. Sure. Cool. What, how, when, when were you a stripper? I started dancing, actually stripping, like taking off all my clothes and butt boogie naked. Yeah. Who at 21? <laughs> okay. Bo- uh, yeah, no, net boogie, boogie naked. naked. <laughs> like, it was a shock for me because I came from go-go dancing where okay. nobody right, could touch right, us. Right. You don't take off no clothes. And then I go straight to the black people. They mm-hmm. want to see pussy. They want to see titties. They want to see asshole. Yeah. It was a lot for me. But I learned how to embrace my sex appeal that I do have. Like, I'm a sex symbol. Like, That's what's I exude oh, no, sex. Shit. I right. love it. And I'm sexually liberated as well. Like, I don't have a... Somebody told me they had sex with a lot of people. I don't look at them no different. Like, you're sexually liberated. As long as you're safe. Yeah. If you're safe, have sex as much as you want to. Why not? 
Yeah. But sex is a part of life. That's real. Motherfucker. That's super real. I, I need I need yeah. sex. You need sex. We need sex. I like I that mean, What's your sign? What's your I'm a Pisces see? all day. That ain't got shit to do with shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's no, your no, sign? No matter what sign she said, I was going to see. See, that's it. I know you mm-hmm. was a freaky bitch. That's that, that's that Taurus <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm a tourist. Hi. Okay, y'all, let's get into our lightning round. So it's a buzzer right next to you. You're going to pull your buzzer up. I'm going to ask a question. And when I ask the question, whoever hits the buzzer first to answer said question will answer the question and answer it why as well with the explanation, okay? Oh, we all understand the rules? Oh, you a cheater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, <laughs> come on, let's go. Yeah. All right, question number one. Two guys and one girl is a train. Rhea. Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's too God. Like, Thank you. I don't know. It just, it just is. I can't even. <laughs> it's no explanation. We just know that that's not a threesome no more. That's a train. That's a train. Okay. It's two dicks. It's just like, it's not the same thing. Okay. I, I feel the same way. Like, I agree with her a thousand percent. This is, it's a damn train. If it's two females, it's a threesome. If it's, no, nah, it's a train if it's two dudes. That's so it's double standard, yeah. It's double dick it's, so it's, it's, it's a train. That's not fair. True. As a woman, we should be <laughs> able to decide what we want in the bedroom if we decide to have somebody else in it. You Girl, can. it's a fucking no, train, it, it, though. It, it, it don't matter. It's, it's a train. train. It's a train. The name okay. just changes. Okay. Next still, question. Next question. Next question. It's a train. You have right I agree with you. No, I've never had one. She didn't sound like she did. She like, it wasn't No. I've it never had a, one, but I agree with Pete on that. I've had people a, that say that, like, you can't say that I'm a, a I, I'm way. having a train ran on me just because I would so rather. What's a train? I don't like it. To me, a train is three or more. So my thing people. is, yeah, agree. So but I also, person. the reason why I don't like it, I don't like it because they say it in such a derogatory way. They like, do. Girl, we ran a train on her. Nigga, you were there, too. Like, I might have ran a train and on it's, you. And it's like, is you gay? So you want another dick in the room? Okay, All right, come on. And leave it there. Next question. Next question. Uh, lightning round. Anal sex is a must. Period. Okay, P. No shit don't work. P. Okay. The yeah. people Here say. <laughs> the people say. Um, I don't think it is a must, but it's cool if you like it, cause I like it. Okay. All right. Anal sex. I'm not really with it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No. Leave it there. That's yeah. cool. Yep. No. <laughs> Anal sex is a must. Yes or no? No. They requested. No. Great. No. Uh, a chick requested before, but. 69 yeah. is a waste of time. Oh, no. That's not. <laughs> Freya? No, it's not a waste of time. It's okay. Great. You like listening to 69? Yes. Why? Because it's like y'all both feeling pleasure at the same time, and it's like. When they turn it up, you can feel it. Yeah. And then it makes you want to turn up even more because it's kind of like, who gets that first? I'm a weak bitch. When they turn up, I be like, oh, oh yep, husband, that's it. Yep, and I, I can't focus because no, I'm, I'm too in it. Up, like, you know how. So then you just, it's feeling so good, so now yeah, you just don't stop stupid. Yeah. yeah, that's me. No, but. That's I, me. Every time we like, try to see people, I'm like, oh, for me. I'm stupid. Ah, I, with it. I like it. <laughs> so which one I y'all like to be, the six or the nine? Because I'm confused. I'm, they both the same number. Wait, ain't the six on top? Yeah, the six on top. I want to be a six. I have a husband. His big ass ain't about to be on top of me just dunking his dick. That's what I say. You ain't about to be dunking his dick in my mouth. No. And my thing, I'm like, I like to be the six because I I need my ass to sit on your face. I like Mm -hmm. that. I need okay. my ass to sit right there. So I, I like see, my ass treat. See, different, though, because you don't have to choke yourself. You're not yeah, gasping yeah, for yeah. air. No, no, no. You're okay. just down there like, I like to do ass, I like to do ass, like ass trick still, moves. You well, you know what? Me. I ain't gonna lie, though. Like, with I the like girls, it. if they a little smaller than me, I want them on top. Yeah, okay. Because I'm... Yeah. Like thicker than you, bitch. Yeah. Like, what are you about to Girl, do? Girl, why yeah. smother her with your no, ass? No, you ever just That's be lifting beauty. up a little bit so you won't like smother <laughs> I'm somebody? A so they can't I, I like to no. smother. I'm real cautious. Like, no. no. Well, I like to smother. My husband smother. want me to smother. He be like trying to pull me in closer. Yeah, but that's mine. what I do to girls. I think with girls, I'm more dominant, and with men, I'm more submissive. Okay. Slightly. I like okay. 69 because I take it as a personal challenge. Like, when you're doing a 69. Look at I, her when you talk about this shit. No, for real. Yeah. Look I, at me. I take, No, I take it as a personal she challenge. She's talking about my wife. My nigga, look at my face. I like 69. Oh, nigga. Majority of men do this. Majority of men try to eat the pussy so good that she can't even focus on sucking dick. Yeah. Like, you, we take it as a like personal no. challenge. Like, let me see if I can eat her pussy so good that she can't even focus on yeah. sucking my dick. Yeah. Yeah. Just FYI, I've been we, there. FYI, yeah, I've been there. FYI, been there. we know that and we lean in on that. Like, yeah. oh yeah, this nigga wanted it. Oh, oh, I'm trying. Oh, so y'all, mm. He really wanted uh, to ride his trying. face, but he doesn't want I'm it. trying. Uh. <laughs> All right, next question, next question. Everyone has a fetish. No. All right, P? Yes, everybody has a fetish. You think so? Yeah. No. What's your fetish? 
You know I don't really saying? have a fetish, but then why my like... partner has a fetish. Okay. But and you it's don't. My feet. So that's not everybody. Well, because I haven't tapped into that yet. You I think I'm just have. a freaky person. Like, I like it all. What's your I'm fetish? I'm open. Fetish, I, um, I feel like you like bitches to see pictures of their toes. Toes? Oh, no. I don't get fucked by no feet. Your feet can look, you can have crow feet. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> I'm, not one, I'm, not, I'm not one of them dudes that were like, oh, that's a deal breaker. Look at them goddamn toes. No, fuck all that shit. I, I really ain't got no fetish. Really? I really ain't got no fetish. I just oh. love a beautiful woman and, that carry herself nice and classy and sophisticated. And, and You used to have a fetish. You know what I'm saying? What was it? Crazy bitches. Oh, that's, that's still a fetish. <laughs> we'll talk about this, that later. <laughs> you gonna bring that up on us? They record. They record like a motherfucker. I do not do this stuff. <laughs> okay, like, next what? one, next one. Girls watch more porn than men. Oh. Please, you gonna keep hitting your broke ass butt? It ain't yeah. working. I'm about to get, my shit work. Thank you, cause okay. I watch okay. porn. See, you watch porn? I watch porn. Okay. I need to learn. Okay, I'm, relax. No, you I'm hit like get, all the buttons. I want to get one that work, cause that okay. one don't work. All right, relax. I, I, I watch porn on the regular. You do? Yes. What's your favorite kind of porn? Oh, really? Okay, I won't do it. Never mind. Never mind. Wait, I tell now you. I'm interested. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the threesome porn. Mm -hmm. I like the lesbian porn. Mm -hmm. um, it's, oh my God, this Not is so bad. Now, your version of threesome or their version of threesome? The porn version of threesome. I like the two men and a girl. Okay. I like the two girls and a guy. Sometimes a little hardcore porn turns me on just a little bit because I know I would never go that far. Mm -hmm. And so to see somebody else go that far, I think it's intriguing. Like, damn, bitch, mm -hmm. you really doing that? You a wild bitch. You a wild <laughs> bitch. <laughs> but the thing about that, you will go that far one I day. I won't. Yes, you will. I won't. You don't know it yet. <laughs> That's really how dudes be. No, no, yes, no, you no. Will. <laughs> you, Nigga. You, you, I just said I won't. Either we fucking or I'm fucking <laughs> high. Like, what? Hey. Yes, you will. Like, okay. No, no, I'm saying you, you will. You like, said either I'm we just saying, fucking or I'm because, fucking Because right now you're entertaining a thought. You're entertaining the thought. At one point, I've been entertaining the thought no. for a few years now, exactly. and I still have yet to do it. You know how many females entertain the thought of eating some pussy before they finally do? Well, that's different. That's a little mediocre. Yeah. That's a little childish. Sure, no, Bitch, eat some pussy. No, see, no, no, no. That, that's that's some real I shit. I can't do it. My you can't, can't eat pussy. No. You watching this shit? I can't. You I, watching I, I, this porn and getting intrigued by it? I can't do it. I have sensory. It's only so long before you be like, I need that. Wet me up. No. Oh my God. I would. I would. I would start. I would start dragging out. I would be there, like, literally. <laughs> Wet me up. Y'all ever heard a dog throw up? Maybe you ain't doing that back to that would be me. Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Wet me up, baby. No, Wet me up. No, I can't. I have real life like, sensory it. issues. Literally, my husband can nut all on me. And I'd be like, okay, the, you, are you done? Great, thank you. I got to go shower and get it off me. I just, I don't well, like see, being we didn't hear that, coming bro. on me. A dude <laughs> coming on me is a little different. I feel a little degraded <laughs> if that was to happen. See, my, oh, I don't feel woman. degraded. I feel happy that it's not exciting me. There's not going to be no more children growing inside. <laughs> Thank you. That's crazy. Thank you, King Jesus. She's looking at the kids crawl on her like, hey, you. <laughs> you would What's never be up? here. You, you never, would never be born. You would never make it inside. <laughs> no, it was not your destiny. Okay, okay, a couple more questions. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Men are scared to let girls touch their butts during sex. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not even scared, but <laughs> some niggas don't play like that. Like, <laughs> Like, I tried to do that before, and, and they just be like, like, he literally put me, like, if we was by ourselves, he was like, don't do no shit like that again. It's like, some niggas don't play like that. Even you know how you smack a nigga ass to try to yeah. be funny? Yeah. Some niggas really just don't play like that. Like, some niggas just be that like. That don't bother you, though? That don't make you feel like, uh, you a little too But you know, I like that about that, my like, ass, too, mad. though. It's like, don't play like you finna. Just nah, stick a nigga there. Like, no. Smack are you, are you, yeah. you, don't, you, you don't like, you don't touch your ass? No, I don't like females smacking my ass okay. and none of that shit. You like, feel like it like, make them suspect. No, 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 no. It do to me because look, you're too, look, during, during you're too against me. During, and it's like, during sex when I was younger, during sex when I was younger, like, I, I, I never let a female touch my ass while we was doing, you know, while we was fucking and shit. Mm -hmm. But as I got older and shit, you know what I'm saying, with my girl and shit, I let her do it probably after like five years. Honestly, okay. Five years. Like I think it, I think it was just a mental thing. You okay. know what I'm saying? Cause you was, you was raised up to talk like, don't, don't let nobody touch your motherfucker. But who wants to you just touch saying? a nigga ass all day? No. I don't even think men should have an ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I just don't think like, especially men what? with big booties. <laughs> No, when niggas got big booties. She only booties, want niggas to shit. She said niggas. 
keep that waste in your body. <laughs> right, right. It's not keep the Men waste. Men don't deserve to let you that You back shit in out. thighs for me right keep now. Shit you in. back in thighs. I feel that's like it. the ass should be like like white people booties. Like I don't think niggas should have an ass. Like that's just you should have a butt. Even white people like you got an ass. ass. Like why do you have? Why you, a, got an ass? why you thick as fuck? Like yeah. why do you have an ass? Like no. Okay. Okay, listen. I thought like you basically you feel like they should just have like you as a flat back bitch. Yeah, just to be in. straight. She I don't want to grip a, your ass. I want to grip a bitch ass. I don't want to grip a man's ass, hairy ass. Hairy ass. Okay. She, she, she ass. be mad that these niggas got hairy booty. <laughs> yes. Y'all niggas gotta say start y'all niggas y'all get y'all a whack. Start shaking y'all. No, I think that's what it is. Like feeling hair on a nigga ass is just like. Yeah. Ugh, like I never why? felt, I ain't she never felt that. That's because you mess with well. females too, and you just so. You but even like if you suck a nigga balls, it's like why is it just hairy? Like I don't want to eat your hair. That's nasty. Now you got hair. I don't like hair. Now I got a hair That's ball. That's what it is. I don't like hair. Oh, okay. Okay. So there we have it. You, we know someone is naked down there. <laughs> Okay. No, not even naked. She want a nigga to have Brazilian, like, Brazilian balls. balls. You just need a little, you <laughs> need to be trimmed just a little bit. Brazilian wax on your balls? But, but uh, it's just a point, trim. like, mm-hmm. you're going to be hurting. If it was up to me, it would be no hair. But some niggas be like, I'm not shaving, that's gay. Okay. Okay. All right, so you guys, we got all in your business today. I appreciate y'all for being open. Before we get out of here, though, and, you know, start wrapping up, I want to get our final thoughts on this whole conversation. We talked about a lot. We talked about you know, heterosexual sex, different sex, different relationships. We talked about, you know, how to come out and things like that. To wrap this conversation up, what's something that you want to say as your final thought, T? My final thought is to just be, I love a a sexual liberated person. Don't be ashamed of what you like and who you like. Mm -hmm. Be open, be honest, because at the end of the day, the world we live in now, it's not too many people like that. And people really respect it. They might look down on it because they're scared to come out. But be you. Yeah. You might you might be a living testimony for somebody else that's really looking at you and be like, hey, I want that's me really in the inside. Let me come out and just be open and yeah. fuck what anybody else has to say about it. That's real. Okay. My thing, I I would say probably probably about the same thing that what she's saying. This shit, like just be yourself, be sexually liberated, but be safe. Like you said, whatever the fuck you want to do is what you do. You can't knock her because she want a female. You can't knock her because she want a female. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't knock me because I want to piss on the chick in the shower. Right, right. That's what the fuck I do. Right, if, right. if she want, if she requests, I'm knocking you for stop it. turning your face up. I'm not turning I'm your face up for eating for pussy it. and sucking dick. I'm knocking you for. Am I? People. You sucking dick and eating pussy, and I'm not turning. And I'm not, you know. What's your what's your like, feeling on people? Like, I feel you know, like how you go? What's your what's your on, final God. thought? What's your what's your final thought on the whole episode? <laughs> It's not even an episode. My advice? Yeah. I feel like if you're going to be about that shit, like, on the internet, just be about it in real life. Like, don't be a catfish. Like, I hate freaky-ass bitches that fucking ride a dick like a rabbit or, like, just don't know how to fuck. If you selling that shit, just be that person. And that's just not even with the conversation. I just be thinking about freaky-ass bitches that I didn't met. It's just be like, bitch, you not, you don't even know how to have sex. Like, like, you don't even talk about it if you not even you. Period. But I do feel like you should just like what you like and do what you do, but I don't know. Except Certain shit is crazy. Except yeah, the pissing is trifling. Except for pissing. Well, I do you want to like... argue about it? Because I tell yes. you how nasty it is. Yes. <laughs> tell me. You have a fucking toilet. Pee yeah. in the toilet. <laughs> That's it. Okay. But, that being but, said. But, hey, can I wrap okay. this goddamn show right. up? Okay. That being said, thank you all so much for it. Squirt. If you enjoy peeing, pee. If you think it's nasty, don't do it. You, you let a nigga pee on you? Squirt is You want me to really tell you the truth? Yes, she did. My husband pee on me all the time. Ah! All the time, regularly. And you guys, I'll see y'all next. <laughs> Get your motherfucking ass back here. <laughs> you guys, we will see y'all next week. <laughs> that was the weird one. That's well, the weird one. You cannot just end the yeah, show. Yeah, like damn it. You cannot yeah. end My yes. husband yes. pees on me in the show. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I yeah. knew y'all was gone for a reason. I knew it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I knew it. I'm playing with me. I'm now I'm open to the idea. Yeah. Yeah. No, wait. Before you end the show, you what cannot you end with just that. I, yes. I'm curious at this point. Now Why? I want my girlfriend to pee on me. be like, pee on me? No, now, so first of all, I never said pee on me. So he just had the he pee. He just randomly did it. And you was right there. Yeah. And just got the shower. Sh- it didn't. No, no, no. My not leak here. My husband literally will pee on my leg on some like he he. I'm peeing on you. Not on some like like some like I'm like peeing on you like this. Is he, it's like it's uh, funny. It's that, cute. It's not, like, 
Yeah. Now I want Where? my girlfriend to pee on me. That means now that you guys, we'll check you guys, we'll check you guys out next week. Thank you guys for tuning in to the podcast. No, sir, you guys are the same. We'll talk to you soon. Think you're about in, it. Good day. You're in trouble. <laughs> Now I'm in tree. Now I want to go to the home and do some no, shit. No, seriously. No, no, no. Okay, it's off the camera. Yeah. Why? Like, no, sir, why? It's a wrap. Can we, can we know why? Like, what, why you randomly start peeing on me, girl? I don't know. You just like, who's this is a good spot to do it. Who's on the next uh, episode? I don't even remember what happened. I'm so glad you admitted to that I think so he I won't look start, like a fucking just weirdo. Doing it. One thing for certain, two things for sure. When it comes to sex, somebody's gonna have it. Probably all of us is gonna have it, okay? I love talking to these people today about just different experiences sexually. And I really particularly like talking to Persuasion about the fact that, you know, she went from being with men to dating women and just the differences in it. I've never been strapped before. So just hearing that conversation about how good a woman can work to strap it was just very eye-opening for me. And very much so just one of those, oh, girl, who knew type moments, but I had no no idea that women needed to boil the strap and sanitize. I never thought about sanitizing sex toys. I don't really play with sex toys. So that was a good conversation. But I love the overall vulnerability that everyone brought to the table and the openness that everyone brought to the table to actually talk and discuss their, their everyday kinks and what they like and what they don't like and whatnot. I think as a society, we do over-sexualize most things, but I think that most of us overly enjoy it. So it's absolutely okay. So keep sexualizing. Keep doing what you're doing, have fun with it, just be safe. So have sex, or put on a condom, or get to know the person a little bit more. That way, in case you do slip up and have a baby with that person or get that person pregnant, at least you will know what you're getting yourself into. Think about it, good day. <laughs>